Hey, this is Brandon Ives, and I wanted to give you seven tips to help create a video resume in order to land your dream job. But before I give you the seven tips, I want to tell you two things. First, you have the capability, if you own a cell phone, to be able to create a video that is of high enough quality to be able to present yourself well. So don't let the technology scare you. You have the ability to point and shoot the cell phone that you carry around every day in a video format that will allow you to, to put together a video resume. That's not going to be a problem. The second thing is that a video resume does not uh, mean that you don't have to send in a real resume, a traditional resume. You need to do that. You need to have a cover letter too. You need to have a follow-up that you plan on reaching back out to the hiring manager or the email where you submit your video resume and your regular resume. You need to be able to follow up at a sequence time to let them know that you're a serious professional and that you have good follow-up skills. All of these things are important. The video resume is just one of many ways to help you land that dream job. Okay, so I promise seven tips. The first tip is this, plan your content out. You are going to have a very limited amount of time in order to be able to get across your message and keep the interest of somebody who you're talking to. So know what you're going to say. Tip number two is going to be keep it short and sweet. The deal is that you might have 15 to 30 seconds to capture somebody's interest and then try to keep it. And you're not going to be able to keep it for more than, say, a minute. So if they see that the video you sent them is 15 minutes long, they're not even going to start it. They'll think about clicking on something that's 30, 60, maybe even 90 seconds. But you need to be crisp, concise, and, and be able to deliver that message that you want to them in order of to, to best get the chance for them to actually look at it. Three, you need to dress appropriately. If you are going to uh, apply for a job where you know everybody wears a suit and a tie, wear a suit and a tie. If you go and work at a place or trying to work at a place where you know that they're going to have, you know, polos on, uh, they're going to have, you know, some type of collared shirt, but they're not going to wear a suit. They're not going to wear a tie. Then you can present yourself with a polo, but I would slightly overdress than underdress. No t-shirts, no jeans. You need to be in at least semi-professional clothes, if not professional clothes, depending on what you are uh, trying to apply for. Number four is going to be a big one. Practice, practice, practice. You need to make multiple attempts at this video and have the uh, just willingness to go and look at yourself on screen and pick the best one. You're not going to be perfect the first time you shoot a video, and that's okay. In this video right now that I'm doing, I'm not perfect. And I can tell you that I've done multiple shots and multiple tries, and there's still going to be things that I mess up, and that's okay. But as long as you put together a good quality uh, summary of what you're trying to get across, that's the most important thing. So take multiple shots. Try multiple times and then pick the best one and present it. Remember that tone is very important. If you don't have good tone and energy behind the video, people will be bored or turned off by you when you are speaking. So make sure that you have some energy and passion behind wanting to get this job. That will be as important as what you say. The number six tip is going to be this. Background and lighting. You need to make sure that your background is professional. You can't be sitting on your bed with an unmade bed, pillows all over the place, and last night's laundry laying on the side. That can't be in your shot. Now, you don't have to have an extraordinarily professional background. I mean, we're not taking, you know, a major uh, studio production here. But you need to find a wall with some pictures on the back or, or some you know, bookcase or something that, that works for your background uh, that makes it look like you're in a professional setting or that you're in a, uh, a place that, that's fairly clean and put together so that you can present yourself well. And you don't want the person looking behind you and saying, is that, is that you know, a pair of pajamas? No, don't, don't do that. Don't shoot in those locations. 
Also, make sure the lighting is good. They need to be able to see you. Uh, shoot with a window in front of you to where you have natural light coming in on your face. Or, you know, shoot with a lamp in front of you. You want to make sure that you're well lit so that they can see you and get a sense of who you are and not, not have to squint and be like, why is this thing so dark? You want a, a good quality shot, have light coming at you so that they can see you well. Okay. The last thing is going to be this. You've got to be able to share the video with them. So how do you share the video? You can make a free YouTube or Vimeo account and upload your video through your cell phone or, you know, you can take your cell phone and you can load it to your computer and upload it that way. Either way, it's very simple to create an online account with YouTube or Vimeo and host the video there. Now, if you don't want the world seeing what you have applied for, when you put and upload your video onto YouTube or Vimeo, make it unlisted to where only people with the link can open it. And then you share the link in your email to them. That is how you share the video and you can still keep it private and not everybody has to be in your business. Remember that this is just part of the process of trying to get hired. Cover letters, uh, resumes, and, and a paper or a regular format, still very important. However, making yourself set apart and seem different will work for you because it shows that you're innovative. It shows that you're not just one of the thousands of people that may come across their desk for this job. It will help you land a job faster and quicker. And it also will help you get a phone call or a returned email faster than others too. Anything you can do to leverage technology will help you when you are applying for positions. I hope that helps. I know that a lot of people are out of work right now and trying to find a way to get in front of the right people and then become noticeable. That's a great way. A video resume is a great way to help set yourself apart. Hope this helps. Hope you have a great week. Take care.